Hi. Um, this is a series I'm going to call uh, Guitar for My Brother. Um, I gave my brother some uh, a Christmas present about two years ago and uh, it was just packed up as some wood and I promised him at the time I was going to build him a guitar. Well two years later um, I'm finally going to start it. Uh, I've basically been waiting because I, um, I haven't had all the tools that I needed, um, didn't have, uh, I wanted to get a, a side bending machine which I just recently uh, purchased. But um, I think I've got everything I need and we'll get started. So hopefully by the end of the series we're going to have a completed guitar. Um, as I said, I've got the, the, the back and the sides are going to be this, uh, it's called Gonzalo Alves. I think that's how you pronounce it. it looks like Goncalo Alves. Um, it's also called Tiger Wood. It's got kind of a neat blonde color to it. I'll try and get a close up of this. Um, but and striping. Uh, so it's, I think it's going to make a really pretty, pretty guitar. Um, for the top, I'm going to just use some um, Sika spruce. Um, got some Sika spruce here. So that'll be the top. And essentially, uh, I'm going to follow some plans. Uh, uh, they call it a herringbone guitar. It's based on a Martin guitar. It was drawn by uh, Dan McGraw. Dan got him from uh, Stuart McDonald. So basically, it's a it's a dreadnought uh, guitar. And uh, I built a couple guitars, but never solo. Uh, I went to I took a couple classes from this guy Frank Finocchio, out of Easton, Pennsylvania, and I made a couple of. Um, basically like a triple O size guitar. Um, so this is going to be a dreadnought, it's going to be a solo build, so we'll see what happens. I'm sure we're going to run into some problems here and there, and it's going to be a learning experience for me. But uh, I, I really wanted to make this so my brother Scott could could kind of watch uh, his guitar and how it progresses. So, um, yeah, let me take the camera, I'll show you the plans up a little more close and I'll show you the, uh, see if I can get a better shot of the uh, wood that I'm going to be using. Well here's uh, my side bender which I needed to get going. Uh, but here's the plans. And as I say they were from uh, Stuart McDonald. They call them the herringbone guitar plans. And it's, uh, I think it's an older Martin uh, design dreadnought and um, I don't know if I'm going to follow like the, uh, you know, the 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 binding and the purfling schematics uh, with that Gonzalo um, the guitar will be based on the bracing pattern and the overall dimensions of this um, but I might take a little bit of uh, artistic license uh, when I do I like the rosette and as they say, the bindings and the purflings. So, you know, I haven't even checked if those sides were going to, they've got, these are the side plans here. So i got to check my sides and just make sure that's big enough and that, uh, that the, uh, the spruce that I've got hopefully is big enough for a dreadnought. I haven't even checked that out yet. But, um, i got to do that, so we'll, we'll see how that, uh, how that looks. All right. Well, here's the plans, and these uh, these are the dimensions for the sides here, the side pattern. Obviously, it's to scale, and these are the sides that I've got. And um, yeah, um, looks like uh, the woods woods a decent size. At least that side is. Let me check this one too. Yeah, yeah, down at the. Uh, the back end here, it's just uh, uh, just about right on the line. I think what I'll do is I'm going to make a template of the side, kind of trace this out, and that's how um, we'll, um, you know, I'll I'll, uh, I'll cut this and get it ready to go exactly to the plans before I bend it. Um, let's see the top. I've actually got a uh, mold here, not a mold, but a uh, template here uh, for the herringbone 
plan. I think I got this from Kenneth Michael Guitars, or he's had some pretty neat stuff on eBay. Here's my Sitka here. Now this has already got a, a, uh, a pattern drawn on it. Um, uh, that was like it when I bought it. That's not necessarily from this plan. Yeah, see that doesn't. That almost looks more like a jumbo maybe that's on there. But but definitely this is going to be big enough for the uh, for the dreadnought here. And then my back, I've actually you know, I've kind of got it sitting in uh, with some clamps and stuff. Uh, there was a couple issues with the back. It had some cracks on the back, and I used some um, super glue to uh, fix up the back, but it, they, they were also a little bit warped. So I actually <laughs> used an iron and uh, I got them flat and then um, uh, just used some uh, particle MDF and uh, uh, particle board and um, clamped it for a while. So it's been in here for uh, a week or two. So I'm gonna, gonna unclamp it and, and, and see how the, uh, the back and sides are looking. And then uh, check it against the, the plans and make sure that uh, I've got enough wood also to make a dreadnought uh, of, with these sides or a uh, back. Okay, we're back for the unveiling. I took the, uh, the clamps off and let's see how this, this wood came out here. Well, uh, that looks really good. It looks really good. Um, I don't know if you can see that. This this had quite a warp to it. Like, you know, pretty concave. So um I actually used an iron and um kinda ironed them down, although they still weren't completely flat, but they were pretty um you know I had I had wet them uh down and they were pretty damp from the steam from the iron, plus I had sprayed them with some water. So that, that worked pretty good. I got them flat. Um and I don't know if you could see but there was some cracks here crack here and there was also some cracks here and here that I fixed with some uh, thin super glue so they look pretty good to me they look like uh, it, it looks like um, they should be okay but we'll see as we get as we get started as I say this is the first one solo so I don't have anybody looking over my shoulders or to tell me yeah or you know that's a go or no go with the crack, but um, I've I've seen uh, I know when I when I built those guitars with Frank we we I made uh, one of the guitars out of Brazilian rosewood, and um, there was quite a few cracks in the in the in this back that I used, and uh, it, we fixed it exactly this way just using some super glue, and um, that guitar is about two years old now and it's it's great. So anyhow, so this is going to be the back. It's got a nice uh, detail in here, a little bit of sapwood. I think it's going to make a really pretty back. And oh, so that should be plenty. In fact, um, again, this was sketched, had a sketch on here, and that was on here when I bought this wood. Um, but that sketch on here is, is actually does match the uh, the dreadnought uh, here. So, so we've got. Uh, it looks like we've certainly got the a good. Um, size wood, you know, for to do what I want to do for the dreadnought size. Okay, well, that's the uh, the first video. I know it's uh, we didn't do really do anything yet. Just uh, just make sure that um, we had the enough material to make the uh, the guitar that I want to build. And um, I just wanted to post this video because it's kind of. A kick in the butt for me to keep going from here on out if uh, if I post this so I think uh, probably the first steps what we'll be doing is um, getting the uh, the back and uh, the top jointed and then after that I'll um, I've got to get those uh, sides they are a little thick right now I'll have to get those sanded down I do not have a thickness sander so um, I'll be sanding those by hand or maybe planing them um, down to get them thin enough that I can use the bender here and, and, and get those bent and um, it'll be the first time using this bender here too and it's been a couple years since since I bent wood so hopefully it'll bend and, and um, I don't end up having to make the guitar out of a 
that, that is some different wood that I've got down here. I really like uh, really like to be able to get this against Solo Olives, uh, a dreadnought built for him because uh, he's really going to like it. I, I think he likes uh, the fact that it's called Tiger Wood too. He's kind of into that stuff. Okay, take care.